and you know, yes. I savor any opportunity, yes. and they they don't come along very often yes. to talk about modern pentathlon, <laughs> which is my favorite sport, and and it it, it makes me yes. kind of unique in in American media anyway. It might be a little different in Hungarian media, <laughs> Serbian media. But modern pentathlon is my favorite sport. And Bo- Boris Onyshenko in 1976 in Montreal, he disgraced um, not only himself, but really the entire sport of modern pentathlon. And if your listeners are unfamiliar with modern pentathlon, it is the, um, it is the Olympic event, although, of course, it's not only uh, contested at the Olympics, which tries as best as possible to approximate the skills required of a Napoleonic courier. So it's fencing, shooting, running, swimming, and riding. Perhaps the most famous Olympic modern pentathlete <laughs> was George Patton, um, General like, George Patton. He was not yet a general, uh, who I believe finished he finished out of the medals, but I think in the top 10 in 1912 in Stockholm. Is that because he slapped the, the competition? Speaking of uh, Nancy Kerrigan? Wow. But, no, actually, it's ironic um, because uh, Patton was actually undone uh, by his performance in the shooting competition. Uh, <laughs> That's true. But anyway, Boris Onyshenko was the modern pentathlete competing for the Soviet Union. Yes. I believe he is uh, uh, Ukrainian. I, I, I think he might still be alive, actually. He, he wouldn't be that old. And he had won a medal in 72 in Munich. I think he was the silver medalist in 72 in Munich. But in 76 in Montreal, he rigged his epée to register false touches in how the do fencing you, competition. How do you do that? It's a good question. I, I, I don't know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> he was caught. He was caught and he was disgraced. Disgraced. And he was uh, shipped back home unceremoniously. Yes. And um, after that, uh, really lived uh, uh, lived in ignominy um, in the uh, in the final stages of the uh, Soviet Union. So, Jeremy, a um, couple things from this. Number one, mm-hmm. um, you know, uh, I am a big modern pentathlon fantasy player, so mm-hmm. I know all <laughs> about this. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I I I grabbed Boris in my snake draft. Uh, earlier this year, um, right. not knowing, unfortunately, sure. the uh, the the lush history of his uh, ignominy, to use yeah. your big word that you just dropped in there. Thank you. Uh, and then Thank secondly, I, have, I, I don't even know what else to say other than the fact that Chris Brockman has has fact-checked you in real time. I and, did. And yeah. this is all spot on, correct? Yeah, this so, is all uh, spot so, on. So George Patton uh, finished fifth in 1912. <laughs> oh, I, I thought it was eighth. Did and I, uh, I just said out of the medal, so I wasn't technically. You said right. out of the medal. You were technically yeah. right, yeah, and fine. and yeah, yeah. Boris Onyshenko is still with us, eighty-three years young. Wow, I'd love to do a story about him. I, I go to. I think he's in Kiev, isn't he? Correct. <laughs> <laughs> how would that, you Jeremy? Jeremy, show. tell me how that pitch meeting goes for outside the lines. How does that pitch? <laughs> me, how does that pitch meeting for E60? Which? How does it go? The, the, how does it go? Like, uh, that, that would be, you know. <laughs> More mainstream than most of the ideas I try to get greenlit. You that, know what, that, Jeremy? That, 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 that's a little sexy. That one. You could put most that on. You, much you could put that on ESPN minus. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I don't know how much time we have. I know you're. Go, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, please, <laughs> Jeremy. This I, is delightful. I actually want to retract Onishenko. As much as oh. fond as I am of the story, there's something much more bizarre. Easily the most bizarre story I ever covered, and, and I covered, to some extent, the Kerrigan-Harding thing because I was working for CBS at those Olympics in Lillehammer, which was insane. Yes. Um, but I don't know if you remember, this, this really is number one, okay. and I can't do it justice here, um, but many of your listeners will remember this. Uh, there was an NHL forward, Mike Danton. Uh, he was playing for the St. Louis Blues at the time. He previously played for the New Jersey Devils. And he went to prison after pleading guilty to murder conspiracy charges. And in, in layman's terms, he tried to hire a hitman to kill his agent, David Frost, who had also been his youth hockey coach. Now, in Canada, this was, this, I mean, it wasn't quite 
the O.J. Simpson story, but it was a much bigger deal than it was here. Sure. Uh, but but this was a story that uh, I covered at the time it happened, like the week it occurred. And then for years, I wanted to do a bigger story about it. And eventually, Mike, uh, who at that time was freed from prison, <clears throat> we pursued him in prison. But after he was uh, freed, I went up to see him in Nova Scotia, where he was going to college. And uh, he agreed to do an interview. And David Frost, who had been the target, was living in Southern California. And he agreed to do an interview. And it led to probably the strangest story I've ever I've ever worked on. Um, it, 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 there's so many layers. I can't do it justice here. But that's the one uh, that should be a movie. So, uh, Mike Ganton. O- you remember Shank- Mike Ganton, right? O- oh, sure. I do remember that. Okashenko Retraction was a great uh, what was that? A great uh, Alan Pakula movie of the 1970s. That was real. I think it starred <laughs> right after what? Like, yeah, Warren Alan. Beatty or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Uh, hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.